What up, Boost Nation? Coach Murph here to talk about foam rolling. Uh, we just posted a big article about it, so definitely have a read as that goes into a lot more detail. Uh, but this is very, very helpful for recovery after a game, after a long week of practice, or you know, playing in the summer, or even training. So, uh, you know, the point of these things: dig into your muscles, work them out a little bit, so it's going to help you aid in, in the uh, the recovery of those muscles, so you can hit the field and feel better a lot sooner than you typically would. Um, stretching is great, but this is a whole other element that you should add to your game um, and again, it's going to help you with recovery and make you feel better. So, I'm going to run you through a couple different ways to use this, but again, check the article. Uh, it's just titled Foam Rolling. It's in the blog area and make sure to read it and watch this as well. Alright guys, first things first, hamstrings. Um, you know, when you're running, when you're sprinting, when you're playing lacrosse, you do a lot of pulling with these muscles in your hamstrings here. Hamstrings are located on the back of your legs here. Um, and we're going to use this to roll them out a little bit. So, sit on the ground, put the foam roller right in the middle of your hamstring to start, and you're basically going to lift your hips up off the ground by being supported with your arms, and you're going to even lift this foot up if you can handle it and try to put a lot of tension on that hamstring. You're going to move back and forth just a little bit, inch or two, for five to thirty seconds. Work that spot of your hamstring. Alright guys, next one here, the quad. So. Um, it's the same thing as the hamstring, but we're going to lay on top of this thing. Start right in the middle of the quad, and you're basically, again, you're going to try to lift your legs up off the ground, support yourself with your arms, and just roll back and forth on top of this foam roller. This is not comfortable, but it's also not excruciating. Alright guys, next one. Sides of your, uh, your quads here. These are very important. These are also the most painful ones, but these will help you a lot. So, um, rest the uh, foam roller on the ground. You want to get this thing right in the middle of your quad here. Bring the opposite foot in front of you. Okay, this is going to help support. And you're basically going to take that other foot off the ground and just roll back and forth. All right, guys. Last one we're going to do here: the calf muscle in the area just below it, which tends to get very tight. Uh, we're not going to do uh, the Achilles tendon. We're not going to do the back of the knee, but just the thick, meaty part of your calf. So, again, just like the other one, start right in the middle. And just lift up your hips, support yourself with this foot and your hands, and just give it a little roll, back and forth, an inch or two, five to thirty seconds, and then we're going to adjust and go a little lower. Five to thirty seconds here, adjust, go a little lower, once you hit the bottom, just above the Achilles, then do it again. Go all the way to the top, start there, and work your way down.